Hello and welcome to Let's Get Prepared. I'm Catherine and today we're going to talk about emergency preparedness on the road, especially uh, winter driving. So the last few videos we were talking about an evacuation plan and what would we evacuate in? Well, we would evacuate in our vehicle, so it's important to keep our vehicle in good condition. Um, and I wanted to talk about this before winter is over. So, um, like most preparedness, pre means before. So before uh, we get into trouble, before there's an emergency, there's a lot of things we can do to make sure uh, we're safe during an emergency or we can avoid an emergency altogether. So, uh, for vehicles, that would include regular maintenance, oil changes, and keeping your fluid topped up, your windshield washer fluid and other things. Um, winter tires, very important. I'm a big believer in winter tires. When I got new ones a few years ago, I was really surprised at the difference it made. Um, as my tires get a little bit older, I can notice I slide a little bit more than I did when they were new. You've all seen this uh, little meme that shows up on Facebook every uh, fall after the first snowfall. It's kind of funny, but it's true. Um, I think a lot of accidents could be avoided if we all had uh, proper winter tires and drove to the conditions. Which brings me to another point. Um, in the winter, we, there's apps out there. There's Alberta 511 and there's uh, AMA Road Report. Um, check these things before you go out. If you don't need to go out, don't go out, right? Um, less people on the road, less emergency problems. Um, my dad gave me a piece of advice years ago and I followed it and I think it's brilliant and I'm going to share that with you. Um, he told me to never let my gas tank get below half a tank and in the winter time, try not to let it get below three quarters of a tank. Unless, of course, you're, you're on a road trip or something and you know you're, you're getting low and you know you're going to be stopping at the next town and gassing up. Well, that's a little bit different. But just uh, everyday life, try not to let your tank get below half. Now, why? Um, number one, if you're out on the highway, out on the road, and there's a problem and weather conditions, you end up in the ditch or whatever, if you've got at least half a tank or better yet, at least three quarters of a tank, then you're gonna be okay for a while. You can keep your heat running and turn it off, turn it on, heat up the car and just make sure your exhaust pipe doesn't get covered in snow or anything else. And you'll be safe for the night until emergency uh, crews can get to you if necessary. Um, also, if you have a full tank of gas, if your uh, power went out or your heat went out at home, you would have a place where you could go and warm up in your vehicle. Um, as well as those things oh yes <laughs> if you had to evacuate and you had at least a half a tank of gas or three quarters of a tank you'd be able to get pretty far i know that i can get all the way to lethbridge on less than a full tank so um it would be nice if you could get going you wouldn't have to line up or, you know you've seen on the news where people have to evacuate and there's these huge lineups at, at the gas stations if you kept your tank full you wouldn't have to do that so as well as those things, also what do you carry in your car? Do you keep a first aid kit in your car? Do you keep extra blankets or sleeping bags in your car? Do you keep an extra warm coat or uh, heavy duty boots or toque or mittens? A shovel, I found this cute little shovel at a garage sale and it just, it's just the right size, it fits in my trunk. I've never actually had to use it. Um, I ran into somebody who was stuck last winter and I said, well, I can try to push, but I don't know how much use that'd be. But, uh, oh, I have a shovel. And so they used my shovel and they were able to get themselves unstuck. So that's a good thing to have. Uh, flashlight, batteries, a little um, candle in a tin can with matches that gives heat, but also light. Um, it's a good idea to maybe have a book or a a deck of cards or something if you have to wait to keep you from you know getting bored or panicking and of course food and water in the winter time yeah I know it's hard you can't really keep water in your car but every time we leave the house I tell my kids water bottle get your water bottle whether it's summer or winter bring a water bottle and uh, a box of granola bars or something I keep eat more bars in my console because I find that eat more bars a little bit more resilient, a little bit more uh, filling than some other things and they can kind of melt and freeze and, and, and they seem to be okay <laughs> for a little while. Um, 
yeah so those are some uh, road emergency road and vehicle tips I uh, hope hopefully they're helpful to you and uh, drive safely everyone and we'll see you back here next time on let's get prepared <music>